Hey YouTube, uh, CJ here. I know it's been uh, two years, I do believe, since uh, I posted my last video on car models. Um, January, two years ago, um, a friend of mine needed help with a, a woodwork project that he had going on. I've been a you know a hobbyist for years, and uh, I enjoy building anything. It doesn't matter whether it's metal, whether it's wood. Uh, it doesn't matter what the medium is. So let me go turn this down a little bit. Probably a little loud. All right. So anyway. So, uh, I uh, went and gave him a hand. I built a, helped him build a table. And he was trying to start a, a small business um, doing uh, barnwood furniture, stuff like that. You know, a lot of uh, reclaimed barnwood and stuff. So, I got into that. I helped him out. Uh, it ended up turning into one project right after another for probably, I don't know, I guess... Probably uh, nine months or so, about September. Then uh, we were working at his shop, and his shop's small, and it's it's really too small for two people to, to work productively. So we had a couple of jobs going, and uh, I brought one job to my barn, and uh, so I did a job, and he did a job. And so pretty much since then, I, I think we've done one job together. Uh, last year, January, uh, we built a huge table in my barn together. But we've kind of, I mean, we're still great friends. We're still, you know, I guess registered as business partners, whatever. But, uh, you know, he does his thing and, and I do my thing. And that's cool, you know. Uh, if I need a hand, he's the first one to jump and come give me a hand. Or, or if, you know, he needs a hand, I'm the first one to go and give him a hand. However, uh, however it works out, whatever needs to be done, we get done. So... Uh, two years now, it's been since I've been in the model shop. The model shop's still all complete, just the way I left it. I just closed the door, and it's been closed since. Uh, I've been building here in my barn nonstop. I, I guess I nearly can't complain because I haven't not had a job going in two years since that first day I started. Uh, the only thing bad about it is I have not built anything for my own house, which I've you know, have quite a few things that I want to build. Uh, thankfully, my wife is very patient, and uh, she uh, she don't give me any crap. You know, I work a full time, forty hour job, and then I come down here at night and weekends and work forty hours in the barn. Uh, I don't want to say we're we're making a ton of money, but um, you know, unfortunate part about starting a business is it costs money. You know, uh, I've had to buy a lot of equipment tools, you know, stuff like that. I make a little bit here and there, you know, it's, I'm still considered a hobby, which I'm okay with a hobby, you know. Um, it helps out at Christmas time, you know, it helps out when we need something for the house, uh, whatever it is, it is. I have no, uh, no inventory to show you guys anything that I built because I've built everything for customers. Uh, I do have a, uh, a mirror that I got cooking that I did uh, for a, I've been working for one customer since July of this year. I built her a bar, a back bar, uh, a bunch of uh, refrigerator cabinets. You know, uh, she owns a bed and breakfast, so she has little mini fridges in each room, and I built cabinets out of uh, reclaimed barn siding to put in each room to put the refrigerators in. And, you know, it's 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 a 1780, I believe, was when the house was built. And she's been keeping me busy one project after another. So they had, uh, they redid the house a couple years back, and they had, the, they converted the attic into, uh, you know, another apartment or room or whatever you want to call it. And so they pulled up the uh, floor planking, and she wanted a mirror made for above a mantle out of the floor planking. They couldn't tell me how old it was uh, when the planking was put in. Always they knew that it was a hundred plus years. So in working on with some of the wood, it's uh, it's about six quarter or uh, about an inch and a half, and it's got a, a crude tongue and groove on it, and uh, it was all square nails that it was uh, put down with. So I, I researched the nails, and it was 
probably sometime before 1880, as uh, near as I can come up with. So anyway, here's one of the mirrors that I built. It's uh, four foot long and like 35 inches tall or whatever, and it'll go on top of a mantle. You know, it'll sit there. Uh, I know everybody's thinking, oh, big deal, a freaking mirror, right? Well, whatever. So, um, as you can see, you know, I try to leave as much character marks in the frame as I possibly can, you know. And then I have it stained to try to match, you know, the woodwork that's in the existing room. And on the, the back side of it, you know, uh, everything's mitered, custom fit, you know. So, I gotta deliver this one probably tomorrow, and I'm building another mirror for them for in the hallway, which is huge. It's, uh, what is it, 60, um, like 65 inches long, and 50, uh, 30, uh, 46 inches tall, I think. Here it is on the, on the workbench, all clamped up. Just waiting for the glue to dry. This is a, I'm building it, it, by when I'm done, it'll be like an early American craftsman style. You know, it'll have a, a top with a cove base, just for a small detail that'll, you know, run across the top of it. And then I'll rip down uh, one of those boards to probably about 5 eighths or 11 sixteenths, and then I'll put another one across the bottom, just to give it, you know, accent pieces, I guess. Uh, if I could figure out how to do a slideshow, which I'm going to see about if I can. Um, if not, my, my daughter can do it. Um, because I have pictures of everything that I've built in the last two years. I'll see if maybe she can put a slideshow together for me. And uh, I'll post that up. I am going to be... Uh, I'm going to try doing once a week videos, update videos on the builds that I have going on in the shop. And uh, kind of convert my model channel to a woodworking channel. Uh, either way, a building is building, whether it's, you know, little scale or big scale, it's still still building. A couple months back, uh, Chris Chapman sent me a message saying, hey, bud, you still alive? You know, we haven't heard from you in forever. What are you doing? You know, that whole deal. So I told him I would, I would get my head out of my ass and, and put a video together and update, you know, the, the channel. I did just get an email the other day from YouTube that I finally hit 100 subscribers and I mean, that's like the greatest thing since sliced bread for me. Uh, you know, I'm just a country hick and, you know, never really figured that anybody be had the slightest bit interested in anything I do. Uh, so, I got a whole lot of things cooking, like I said, 40 hour job, I'm working in my wood shop here. Um, haven't done much riding my bike, it's cold, you know, about 20 five degrees or some crap like that. Uh, let's see. The skid steer took a crap, sprung an oil leak out of one of the hydraulic valve bodies. I'm in the process of taking out the spool valve and resealing that. Uh, so, thankfully I got it inside. They'd rather than have to work on it outside. Uh, what else I got cooking here? Uh, ah. Here, here's my bike. The old gal's up on the up on the lift and cover it so she stays warm for the winter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. This hose, dust evacuation. Oof, way more dust involved in this in the model, I'll tell you that. A um, bunch of clamps. My American flag. The only way to fly. Oh, what's that one up there? I got one up there too. And what else? Messy workshop, wood bench. So uh, my barn was a horse barn. And see up here, I got a bunch of wood. So there used to be four stalls in here when I bought the house and the barn. And I took two stalls out to make it more of more room for my the shop end of, of my life. So uh, over the next 12 months, I hope to uh, take here's a sliding stall door that's just a big stall 
And then on this side, there's another stall over here. So I hope to take both of those stalls and I'm gonna empty them out because there's nothing in there but crap from when I moved in four years ago. You know, really haven't touched much of it. So I'm just gonna get a dumpster and throw it all out. So I'm going to uh, enclose those two stalls so I make it one long room. So it'll be 32 feet from this wall all the way over to that wall. And uh, so I'm gonna enclose it. The floor in the barn is blacktop, but it's very uneven. And uh, you know, everything's on stall mats, horse mats, one inch thick rubber mats. So, I mean, I do walk on the mats, which is nice because it saves on the knees and the back. But uh, I'm probably gonna frame out a subfloor and do a wooden floor, insulate it. I have a uh, mobile home furnace that I'm gonna install in there. Uh, I do have a, a wood stove here in the shop on the other side of the skid steer. I'm just not burning it right now because the skid steer just blocks all the heat from getting into the rest of the barn. So uh, I'll have uh, dual bar sliding barn doors um, right here across the opening. And then that's another door that goes out. So I basically have, you know, drive in one way and I can drive out the other side with the snowmobiles and all that crap, but I'm still going to have be able to drive all the way through. So this way in the summertime I'll open up both, you know, sliding barn doors and, uh, you know, just get air movement. And in the wintertime I'll be able to close the doors and heat the shop to, you know, 60 degrees so at least it's comfortable. Uh, right now I use a wood stove and a jet heater that uh, I can probably... When it's really cold out, I can get about 45, 50 degrees in here. And I mean, that, that's good enough to work. Uh, I prefer like 55, 60 is ideal for me. Um, got a bunch of projects coming up. I'm kind of hoping that I can uh, promote the, the YouTube channel thing. And I have some local lumber yards and stuff like that around here. I'm going to try to pimp for uh, some product sponsorship so I can, uh, you know, Get a little help with building the shop and also you know uh, use their supplies and their tools and stuff like that on all of my projects and builds for customers and i'll hang signs in my shop you know do whatever it takes to promote what they're looking for so uh at some point in time i plan on building a, some modular uh model car shelves with uh, open glass door and uh, I'm going to probably make them about three foot tall and probably three foot wide, something like that. It'll hang on the wall, uh, you know, with an opening door. And that's where I wanted to do two years ago, you know. I, that's what I was going to do after doing the table deal. But I never got to it, never got there. Hopefully I'll get that done. And this way I can take all my models that are in boxes, finished models, and actually display them in the house. But someday... For some reason, uh, you know, it's just not enough hours in the day. And uh, I, I plow snow all winter long as well, so there's another another job. And I'm in a, a national MC motorcycle club. Uh, I've been a, a VP for the last uh, four years or so. I just stepped down as VP just to be a full patch member just because I, I'm with the wood business taking off here. I, I just don't have the time to dedicate to it. So... I, I just have too many irons in the fire, I guess. But I'm going to try to narrow that down and see if I can't get my hobby wood shop, which does very well. Um, you know, see if I can take it to the next level. I got about 10 more years, and my house is paid off, and I'll be 55, and I want to retire at 55. So hopefully I can, uh, you know, work hard in the next 10 years and build my business so I can retire at 55 and, and you know, live off my business. So those are pipe dreams, but uh, hard work and dedication does usually pay off. So that's what I'm going for, you know. I had two years invested in it, so I might as well get my head out of my ass and see if I can't do, uh, you know, better than what I'm doing now. Well, guys, I took up enough of your time, so... Uh, I appreciate it if anybody does look at this because I know they all forgot about me. <laughs> I, and hey, I understand. Uh, you know, when the 
if you don't jump on the train when it goes by, it rolls by, and you're left standing there. All right. Uh, hopefully, uh, a week or two, maybe I'll have another video up. My uh, my daughter's gonna start doing all the the filming for me and uh, editing of the videos. She's she's into all that stuff. She's a you know computer chick. We bought our GoPro for Christmas. She's 12. And uh, we bought our GoPro for Christmas last year. And, I mean, she does everything with this thing. So she's going to be my producer. And uh, maybe she can learn a lot in, in that end. And I can, you know, get better at what I do here on my end. And maybe uh, someday she'll work for CBS or NBC or something to support me. <laughs> All right, fellas. It was uh, nice chatting at you. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.